Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a cultural discussion. Um, I read an article on Newsweek and the title of the article was War on Black Hair. Wearing braids gets black girls banned from prom at Malden Charter School in Massachusetts. And yes, I said wearing braids gets them banned. Not fighting in the hallway, not skipping school, not missing assignments, not being absent too many times, not doing drugs, <laughs> wearing braids, wearing braids. So I wrote about this article on my website, kinkycurlycoilyme.com because I definitely wanted to have, um, I wanted to have my voice in it and I wanted to share with my audience, but I felt like a video would also be a great way for me to share some of my thoughts and opinions, kind of like unfiltered. Um, and you know if you currently have a website or if you write a blog that video is really, really different. So my first, re let me tell you a little bit more about the story before I kind of tell you about what I'm thinking. So the two girls, they're sisters, they're twins and their names are Maya and Deanna Cook. Um, they are African-American girls, as you can see, they're sophomores and they attend the um, Malden Charter School in Massachusetts. And from what I understand, the girls are adopted because the person who was speaking on their behalf in the article, Miss Colleen Cook, it, they refer to her as their adoptive mother. So apparently this school has very strict policy as it relates to hair. And I understand schools having policies as it relates to hair because obviously there are some hairstyles that are really out there and are distracting. I get it. Like I understand. And when you go to private schools or charter schools, they do get to set their own rules. But I feel like in this case, they really their school policy is offensive and it's discriminatory against certain types of hair textures. Um, so if you go to the school website, the policy is there. The policy says students cannot wear drastic or unnatural hair colors. Okay, you know, green, purple, blue, I get it. You want to keep kids uh, to a certain standard and to a certain dress code, I guess. Um, such as shave lines or shave sides or ha have a hairstyle that could be distracting to other students. Extra long hair or hair more than two inches in thickness or height is not allowed. So when I read that, two inches in thickness, I imagine I immediately thought about the natural density and thickness of natural hair. Come on, how many afros have you seen that extend beyond two inches? Um, I wouldn't. I don't know if I had not twisted my hair so that it would lay down like this on the side, but this this might be two inches. What y'all think? Is that two inches? <laughs> um, and if I was wearing it all the way out, you know, I might even be against the school policy, but clearly I'm not in the school, so this really doesn't apply to me. I can wear my hair however I want, but for these children, they don't have the same rights as we do, especially as it relates to their hair care. If your hair is natural, you know your hair grows up and out. It's not gonna grow straight and down. So this two inches thing is already a little bit iffy. Um, and then I guess it also discriminates against black boys who have natural hair that grow up and out as well. Um, or any woman of color whose hair grows curly big, not curly long. I feel like it, it discriminates against them because they either have to they have to make sure they choose hairstyle choices that would restrict the hair height. Not saying you can't grow your hair in an afro, but make sure you pull it back. Make sure you pull it down. Now, what do you do if you're like six months into being natural? Your hair is like this every day. <laughs> what do you do about that? So I also, it then goes on to say, um, this means no coloring, dyeing, lightening, sun in, or streaking of any sort. Hair extensions are not allowed. So that limits everyone because not only black women wear hair extensions. Um, but I will say this, wearing your hair in braids or hair extensions is a very common cultural experience for women of color. I remember very specifically, vividly, as a child, my mom would put my hair in braids 
for the winter when it started to get cold from maybe like let's say November a couple weeks before Thanksgiving my hair would be in braid extensions micro bay braids from then all the way through until like early spring and we would just redo them like every eight weeks or so and then in the summer if there was ever going to be a time where I was going to my dad because I would go to my dad in the summer my mom would also put my hair in extensions in the summer because clearly my dad ain't going to be doing my hair and I'm a young girl I don't really know what to do with my hair either so my mom would do that so that it would be convenient for my dad but also so that I would be confident and my hair would be done and well kept and I would not have to worry about it now what bothers me about the policy is that I don't know exactly how the policy makers feel like wearing your hair in extensions or weaves is a distraction. The only thing I can kind of rationalize because I do want to be able to be to be somewhat unbiased. Like, yes, I'm mad. I mean, clearly I'm mad. Y'all can tell I'm mad, right? But the only thing I can think of is if your friend has extensions and hers are longer than yours, so then you're like jealous of her and you guys are arguing or fighting. Um, and then the elastic being worn in here and not on wrist. I didn't even do this for the video. I always tend to keep an elastic, not always like on my wrist, but I always have one with me because I never know when I'm gonna wanna put my hair up, um, when I'm not wearing it like this, or when I'm gonna wanna put my daughter's hair up. I never know. And I could put it in a bag and then not have my bag with me and then I'm like, oh my goodness, I need an elastic. So I can understand that. I don't know why they don't want you to wear it on your wrist. I can't think of a reason. I don't see how children would fight with it or what they would do with it. But but back to the extensions, I just don't understand. And, and I want you to help me understand this. Because how does these two black girls wearing their hair in extensions, braided extensions, how is it a, a distraction? Now let me go on because it gets better. So when these girls were told that they could not wear their hair in um in the extensions, their mom was notified, Colleen Cook, and she basically told the, the school that, um, she said, we told them there's nothing wrong with their hair. Their hair is beautiful. There's no correcting that needs to be done. Go you mom. Like, I don't know the race of this mom, you know, but judging by the way that she's speaking, it's possible that she's not a woman of color, but I don't know. She then goes on to say that the girls were given daily detention. They were given daily detention for not a day, not two days, not three days, not four days, not five days, not six days, not seven days, two weeks. They were given detention for two weeks. And I guess because the mom still decided that she wasn't gonna take their hair down, you know, taking a stand like my girl's hair is fine, they decided at that point that they were gonna suspend them for prom. So these girls had to experience two weeks of being put down, of being told, you can't wear your hair like that. It's against policy. And, and disguise the discrimination, disguise the lack of hair love for these girls in school policy. You cannot wear your hair like that because it's against school policy. And then we're going to make it, we're going to really go for your jugular and we're going to tell you you cannot go to prom. These are sophomores. Prom is like the highlight of your year. This is just so, this is a disgrace. I'm so offended by the Malden Charter School District, whatever the name of this school is. I'm just so offended that this has happened um, because it's just it's just teaching our girls once again that they're not beautiful. And these girls are also, let me mention this, they're also on sports teams. They were kicked off of their sports teams. Another experience that these girls now need to live through, letting them know that their hair is not acceptable because it's against policy. I put my hair in braids, that black women have been wearing their hair in braids for the beginning of time, and now I, I'm getting kicked out of school, I'm getting kicked out of the, um, the, the sports team, I'm getting kicked out of my prom because I wore my hair in braids. Like, this is just... This is this is really embarrassing to for this school to have done this. And I'm just sick and tired of us having to defend our beauty standards. And yes, this is happening in Malden, Massachusetts, but this could be happening to you anywhere you are. This is this has been happening. Girls have been getting discriminated against because of their afros. I love an afro. I love my daughter's afro. I love your daughter's afro. I don't want our girls to have to get punished because of the way that they wear their hair. I the, the whole lock discrimination thing, the situation going on in the army with the hair regulations, all of these things target black women disproportionately. White women don't wear their hair in braided extensions in the same way that we do culturally. 
it may be a trend it may be for a one-time thing these girls are gonna put their hair in braids and wear it for months this is not something that they're doing just because it's um it's a cool to, it's a cool look this is cultural how culturally how we wear our hair so I want to hear your thoughts I want you to tell me what are your thoughts on this entire thing in general what are your thoughts on how society and school administration view our hair choices and our hair practices and what would you say if you were this mother and your children were given daily detention for two weeks had been kicked off of their school sports teams that they were on and also were banned from prom what would you say to the administration let them know because it's very possible that they might watch this video and it's important for people to know what we think as a community let me know in the comment section below please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have not already please subscribe to my, my channel and as always i love you for watching bye